I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. You know what I like about you, kid? You're always getting better. Gee, thanks, creepy stalker guy. You can call me Taskmaster. Because you keep leaving me tasks? That's kind of on the nose. There's a group of mercenaries committing crimes across the city. These mercenaries wouldn't happen to be your mercenaries, would they? No. All I know is they're getting paid well for their work. Unless you stop them, that is. What's in it for you? I get to watch and learn. Mr. Call from Aunt May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve, and he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud. Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels? Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath Project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk... Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. teams. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. There's the second module. What? All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Table teams, I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert levels. Attention all Sable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. I Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. 
I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Hold on. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait. Is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. GR-27. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. Creepy. Whoa. GR-27 is Devil's Breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michaels' location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head up to Central Park. like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an... Tiffany, it's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired, old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, Reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. Mugging reported. Proceed with caution. Suspects are armed. Officers needed in Central Park.
you, MJ. Crap. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Stand is just somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Out of the way, Phil. What was that? Gotta move. Now. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Need to draw him away from the stairs. This was nothing. What's that? Got it. Time to move. Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. must know something about Dr. M Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't. Again? What's up with these lights?
Come on, come on. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You told him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What's that? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh, what that the was hell? not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. That was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. This is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on... Control.
Gotta be one of these cars. That's Miles' mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Drio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please, call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim. Or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. While I'm here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found. If I can reverse engineer this, it should track Tombstone's shipments. That should do it. Time for a test run. Okay, just gotta follow the signal. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. Tombstone. This guy's the mother of all headaches. Impermeable skin plus zero morals equals bad time. Hope running a chop shop's the worst thing he's up to.
there. That truck. Out for a Sunday drive? Crap, it's Spider-Man! Call for backup! He's high! Picking us off! Oh boy, the gang's all here. Oh, it's just me and Ty Oh, watch it! Biker gang down. Let's see what's in that truck. Uh, chemical containers. But they're scrubbed clean. Looks like they came from the Alchemax plant in Harlem, but what was in them? And that sound means the end of our lightning round. Should head to Alchemax when I get a chance and find out what was in those barrels. Tombstone's up to something. Probably illegal. Definitely dangerous. About to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Thank you. 
finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I'd call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I.
Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Man, direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc loves these things. He used them in grad school when he had to manipulate radioactive isotopes. Says seeing them keeps him humble. <laughs>